Hey guys, so in this video I'm just going to teach you three different hairstyles that involve no heat for summer just because I feel like I stopped using the straighteners and stuff in summer just to give my hair a break because my dead ends are ridiculous. So let's get into the video. Start off by separating your hair into two separate sections and then you're going to take those two separate sections and kind of twist them inwards like each section and I'll keep on twisting until you, you have the length that you like. I did about one third of the way down my hair just because of the hair length. But once you're done, just bring the two pieces that you twisted together and they'll create kind of like a fishtail lookalike and it's basically super easy. Way, it's way faster than a normal fishtail. And they just want to secure that off with an elastic. Just the reason you can't like just twist it all the way down or secure it with one elastic is because A, it's not a bubble braid, and B, it will not hold just because the twist will not have enough security with one elastic to stay through the day. So you're just going to keep on doing that all, all like basically until you're done with your hair. It depends on your length, really. I had three elastics, I believe, and my hair is kind of long. So yeah, you just want to keep on doing that. And securing off with elastics and kind of making that bubble braid fishtail look which I think is super cute and this is super easy by far this is the easiest hairstyle out of three so and it's really cute so once you get to the ends I'm not gonna lie the end is pretty hard just because they're so tiny and it's kind of hard to twist it and like have control of the ends so you might have to do that a couple of times but once you're done just secure it off with the last elastic and then you're just gonna want to play around with it make it bigger. I took pieces of my hair on the other side just to frame my face. But once you're done, that's basically your final, like, final stuff. So yeah, I think it's pretty cute. And if you try it, just let me know. And also, like, out of the three hairstyles, um, just let me know in the comments below which one you like the best. So the next one, I call the braided braid because basically what you do is you braid a section of the braid. So you want to take off instead of separating your hair into three sections like a normal braid take just one the one in the middle and braid that like you would a regular braid and make sure all the like the front of the hair isn't bumpy just because if it is bumpy it will look kind of rough and it won't look as nice and I kind of like this one to be more clean so then you just want to braid that all the way down like you would normally And once you're done, just stick here with an elastic. Make sure you don't do it too tight because you will be removing this elastic at the end. So then separate your hair into like three sections, one of the which, the one in the middle being the braid, and just braid that normally. And I'm not going to lie, it was kind of hard to braid it, not only just because of like the braid in the middle, but it was kind of hard just because my hair was so crimpy. So I would really recommend doing this with like basically a towel dry hair, um, not definitely not wet hair, or just kind of like your natural hair. It would be a whole lot easier to control. So once you've done that, just like remove the elastic from the middle braid and keep on braiding it just because it will look kind of weird and unneat if you have two elastics, like and especially one elastic in the middle of the braid. So once you're done, just secure with that elastic and kind of pull at the braid. And this will work for people with thin hair with mine and it will make your hair look a lot more thicker and just nicer. And that is the result. So this one's by far my favorite and it's called the Twisted Half Updo. I don't really know what to call it, so I just named it that, but basically what you want to do is you want to take your natural hair, but I think it looks much better with crimpy hair, or you can just put it in a braid like I did, wake up and take it out. And basically you want to take all your bangs, or as much of hair as you want up, and it's kind of pull back, but make sure you can kind of see your like, part on the side. The middle parts don't look as good than side parts, but whatever is your preference. So I just pulled up all my bangs, and the point of it is to keep it messy, but not like extremely messy, just kind of like, you know what I mean? Like beachy because it won't look really nice if it's just clean because the whole look is kind of just kind of rough so at the back you just kind of want to secure it with an elastic like you normally would when you pull half your hair up your head and just make sure like you get no other flyaways or anything in it because it'll kind of stick up and won't look as good and don't worry if it's like kind of sticking up at the front you can always fix it with bobby pins or just hairspray like I did afterwards like you'll probably see a little fly away like a major one on the top of my head there don't worry I fixed it so what you're doing with that is separate your hair into two separate sections and just kind of pop the like the, the ponytail through the like separate like hole and it'll create this twist and then you just want to pull it and secure it you can kind of mess around with it until 
you get it to look nice and that is basically what I did and that's my result I got and I find, think it's really cute and it's a great way of like keeping your hair healthy but also like looking good in the summertime without using heat so I hope you guys have a great day and don't forget to subscribe or comment anything in the comments below and please rate this video I love you all and have a great summer bye